J Drone here, Beta FPV 65S Lite there, and the new MakerFire Light controller. Somebody had recently asked me how to bind this to this, and then how to switch from acro mode to stab mode. We are going to go ahead and show you that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously have this on. This is on. Now we need to power this, which we are going to simply do by connecting this to that. Bam. We see. We should see. Light somewhere. There we go. So we got a blue and a red light right there. We're going to go ahead and just turn that around. You should be able to see lights underneath it while we do this. And we'll push it back there. Um... Let's see, I'll go over here with that. So we're going to long hold enter. Let's try to focus right there. And we need a new model. So we're going to go down. We're going to hit enter. Long hold enter. Create model. Loading model. Then we need to page right, which is this one. And then we are going to go up instead of down, which we're using this button. We're going to go up. External RF is off. Internal RF, we definitely want on. So I hit enter and then I hit up. I'm hitting enter again. I'm going to go down. We're going to hit enter. This is operating off of Bang protocol. I'm just going to go ahead and move this. You can see that blinking red back there. So this is alphabetical order. We can long hold down until we get to Bang. There we go. Banzo. You see it went red. Even though it's not in focus, we can make it in focus. Bam, just like that, and then we'll get back to this. So then we can hit exit, 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 exit. And if we look back here while we throttle up, bam, so. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure the roll and pitch and everything is correct, then we will show you how to put it in acro and then stab mode. All right, so all the controls are correct. For the time being, I think I'm going to move it like this. You should be able to see the red and the blue due to the shadow. To put it in acro, all that we do is very quickly left, left, down. It's in acro. You want to go to stab mode? Right, right, down. Now it's in stab mode. Simple as that. This chip does not have a plug-in for beta flight. Uh, some of them did. So uh, that's that's all it is. It's just a stick command on this. So I figure we set it up. Why not go for a fly? We are not using traditional goggles. We are using FXT Viper goggles with a cell phone on the inside of it and an OTG Ishin ROTG1 Pro on the outside for my FPV. All right, and we have liftoff. So with a lot of my batteries, a lot of my batteries are old. This was an old battery. I think it was sitting at like one point something. We did get it up to voltage where it was sitting at, I think, 4.12. It should have been sitting at 4.20 to be fully charged. So this is a little bit underpowered, but I just want to show you the flyability uh, with this little brushed whoop and this controller that is definitely capable. Again, it's a little bit underpowered due to poor maintenance of the battery that we are using. We will do a mild range test, nothing crazy, but we will take it down the street. Uh, and again, the FXT goggles that I'm using, I'm not using the original monitor with it. I have a cell phone with an ROTG uh, 01 Pro uh, module on it, and it allows my cell phone to be uh, DVR. I record to it, and this whole video was done on cell phone. I sent over uh, the video from the Android that's in the FXT goggles over Messenger. I downloaded it on my iPhone, and this entire video has been done basically on the iPhone minus the Android being a DVR. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, this video is a testament of it. Somebody asked me to do this video. I did this video exactly for one specific person, and I'm sure it will help others out. And hopefully this little fly around here as we're jabberjong is a little entertaining. As you can see here, we're doing a mild range run. Nothing crazy, but for the small brush drone, do you need to go any further? Like we're way down the street here. Definitely a fun drone to have, uh, easy drone to manipulate. It can go into acro. Obviously, if you're going to go into acro, you're going to want a fresh battery, one that's not going to sag as quickly as this one did. That way you can actually fly an acro. It's more a soft acro instead of like a hardcore acro like you would see on a FPV freestyle drone. So definitely keep that in mind. If you just want to fly it in stab mode like we are right now, again, right, right down, we'll put it into stability mode. Left, left, down. 
will put it into acro and that's on your right stick your pitching stick again guys if you haven't subscribed smash subscribe button questions comments concerns put it down below and uh we're just kind of flying around myself so i could try to grab a little image with myself and the el dorado in the background now as you see as i walk towards not really walk but kneel down i'm gonna pop this open i'm gonna press the android it's gonna stop 